What's good, Knicks Nation? Let's get into this. The New York Knicks were facing the New Orleans Pelicans in Madison Square Garden tonight. And right from the jump, this game wasn't even close. Our big three, RJ Barrett, Julius Randle, Jalen Brunson, these guys came out of the gates hot. Firing from three was from Julius Randle. RJ Barrett was attacking inside and out. Brunson was able to get inside and get to the free throw line using that physicality that we're known for, that he's known for. And then you also had Josh Hart and Emmanuel Cook giving some solid contributions off the bench. And the Knicks would just not even let the Pelicans get into this game. Even by the half, we had 73 points. And you want to talk about serendipity, as our guy Walt Clyde Frazier says. This 73 points in honor, in honor of the 72-73 Knicks winning the, the world title. So how about that? All right. And then when they came back from the halftime, you know, the Knicks, you know, it could never be easy. You know, it can never be easy. Knicks decided to, you know, allow them to get back into it. Had six total turnovers in the third quarter. Pelicans would go on a 12-2 run at one point. But then the fourth quarter came along. And these guys just packed the Pelicans up out of here. And they said, you know, what? let's have some smooth sailing. But we even had a Derrick Rose chant getting into this game tonight because we wanted to see the vet come in. That's how good this win was. And it felt great. You saw Julius Randle and everybody encouraging the fan base to come on. So a solid win overall for the New York Knicks. They had ultimately win 128 to 106. Alex Terrace here, a.k.a. the Tratocaster. With me on the other side is our guy, Chris LeBron. Woo! Chris, my guy. How you feeling, man? How you feeling after this win? I'm feeling good. It's the first time I'm on the show after a win. After a win, so I was, I'm hyped. I'm hyped. This is a great win. Five-game win streak. I'm excited, man. You know, no more of the shows with, with after tough losses and all that. Finally, a good win. Dominant from, from the tip-off to the end of the buzzer. I love it. I love those wins where it's just dominance from from the jump. And, you know, this was that. We, you know, what, 40, 42 points, 44 points in the first quarter, I guess it's 73 mm -hmm. at the half. Third quarter, like you said, you know, we can't always make it. You know, they, you know, they made a little, you know, a little nervous, a little bit, but <laughs> we wound up, we wound up taking care of business. And, and uh, so that was the most important, but just a, just a great win. And obviously it's good vibes right now. Five in a row, playing really good ball right now. Miami lost, so that's good, you know, yeah, and we just half game behind Brooklyn right now. So Alex, my man, I'm hyped. Today's show is going to be dope, bro. I'm excited. It's a lot of fun, man. Look, this is the sixth. It's it's interesting that it's only the sixth win. Not only, I guess, not interesting because this has been the New York the New York Knicks season. We know it's been up and down for a little bit, but six win this season from wire to wire for our New York Knicks. All right, solid overall performance. And I mean, we got to start. We got to talk about it, man. We got to talk about our big three getting into it. I mean, Julius Randle. Let's start off there because once again, continuing his hot streak from the night before, dropped forty six points. Against the Washington Wizards, he's like, yo, yo, I'm not done yet, all right? I'm not done. I'm going to drop I'm gonna drop 28 tonight, get you some seven rebounds, five assists, go five for 10, 50% five, again from downtown. For mm -hmm. all you out there who are complaining, who are crying that Julius Randle was in the three-point competition, this is why he was in the three-point competition, okay? He may not be the most efficient on the season, but guess what? He puts up a lot of shots, and he can drain them too. Our guy Julius Randle out there, still continuing that hot fire fire uh fire performance yo man so he just came out of the gate hot as usual i loved it i love the way that he is just after the all-star game after the all-star game this man is still continuing to put up points and just looking good man and he's making good he's getting he's making good decision making too i mean like five assists you know fred katz of the athletic had a really good article about how he just has like those crazy cross-court passes are just like they're just rockets mm -hmm. into everyone's yeah. hands and you just see it tonight, man. He's got he's patient, good decision making, physicality, understanding when to shoot when he's got when he's open from three, understanding when to use his body when he's in the paint. Mm -hmm. The Knicks need when they need to stop the bleeding. This is the type of stuff that you need to see from your All Star man, and that is giving me confidence to finish off the final mm -hmm. half of this season. You know, I really enjoyed his performance tonight. What say you about our guy Julius? Man, he's just. He he's playing all NBA, you know, uh, you know, type of basketball again, which is it's really fun to watch. And he's not taking, you know, we've been so we're so used to Julius kind of playing like that that you know sometimes you know that spin. Remember though, you know we're so used to that spin move. You know he's doing mm -hmm. that and like oh he does that a few times a game and all that. And we're not seeing a lot of that. We're seeing a very you know well rounded Julius Randall. You know, and it, it reminds me a lot of you know you know. Uh, 
the 2020 year, you know, the COVID, the top four seed year, and it just made and better, a better version. And a lot of us probably thought we would never see this Julius Randle again. Maybe, you know, we see him playing good, but not to this level again. I thought we, we maybe thought that was it. That was, we saw the best version a couple of years ago. And we're seeing it totally different. He's having fun out there too. That like that alley oop they had, you know, he's having fun, man. And it's just, you know, we're seeing, you know, a, a different level of Julius. And it's just, it's really funny. Six says passing and all that. Like, it's not just the passing. It's like the velocity of his passes that are accurate too. To me, that's even, that's just as impressive you know, as anything. Like that he's able to just make some, some accurate passes from, you know, across the court and all that. And then like fastballs, 95 mile per hour fastballs to the other side and all that. You know, he's been doing on, on, on the regular, you know, this season, but he just, you know, He's being the leader of this team, and that's what we needed from him. And, uh, and it's, it's been really impressive, man. He's playing an all NBA type of of level, and uh, and that's a big reason why you know we won five in a row. You know, so uh, you know he, he's been doing his thing. This is I call him Hoopius. I got a little group. I call him Hoopius. <laughs> Hoopius Randall because he's just been a hooper, mm. and I'm just gonna put the hooper. So every time he balls out, I'm calling him Hoopius. It, you just got to keep it rolling, especially with Julius Randall. Over the last five games for Mr. Randall himself, right? He is averaging. 50% from the field, 38% from three on 10 attempts per game, by the way, from three. Mm-hmm. Shoot 91% at the free throw line, averaging eight rebounds, three assists. It's it's crazy, man. It's crazy. And I would definitely agree that this is like all this is all NBA level once again that you're getting from Julius Randle. Alex, Chris, man. I'm I'm doing pretty good, man. I'm not gonna lie. I was pretty much like amped this whole game. I'm live tweeting. Like, I'm shouting and all of that. My son is jumping around because he see me excited. Like, this is just a good win as a Knicks fan. You know, no narratives, no politics. Just as mm-hmm. a Knicks fan, this was a good, good win. We came out and we moved them guys right on out the weight immediately. They didn't stand a chance. We had the game from the first to the fourth. There's no complaints here. I'm happy. This was a good win for the Knicks. The one thing that I do want to point out, Brunson might not have had a great, great game, but he's figuring out the pick and roll with Mitch. Mitch is very important on both ends of the floor, offensively and defensively. Like, his value showed tonight. Like, I seen it. And RJ was knocking down them shots and getting to the basket. Like, every time there's a bad game or Tibbs benches him or something like that, he always responds. And I always watch that for RJ. He's a dog. He's going to be all right. He's only 22 years old. He's going to figure it out, man. But this was just a good win, man. We moving up in the standings. I want to see Cleveland in the first round. Go Knicks. Ooh, there we go. I like it. Want to see Cleveland in the first round. You confident that we're going to take out Cleveland? Yes, we definitely. We got their number, man. We The way we played them, both games that I've seen so far, I just like our energy when we play against them. It's like we just figured them out. And plus, you know, the whole hoopla with the Donovan Mitchell trade holding the Knicks hostage all as far as like the talking points. They held us hostage all summer, you know. So Mm -hmm. now that the dust is settled, they got something to be motivated for. Get to that fourth seed or the fifth seed and get out of that first round. Just wanted to call in, bask in the moment. Uh, Five game win streak. Again, been an interesting season, but to say we've we're very close to having two uh, winning seasons in the past three seasons after being a poverty franchise for uh, a significant portion of my twenty years of watching the team, uh, it's just great to be a part of watching this transition potentially to being a quality franchise with stability, uh, given the sort of like uh, culture. That's being, I think, you know, being sort of built from the top, you know, like it's going top down from Leon Rose to um, to our head coach, Tom Thibodeau, to even like someone like Johnny Bryant, I think probably imparting some of his own personality and taking some of our head coach with him and probably going to lead the charge in terms of taking over the team at some point. But man, like, bruh, it's been... Again, interesting season, but to see like things finally, finally sort of falling into place. RJ finally like finding a groove of some sort and being able to play defense on both, uh, playing, being able to play on both sides of the ball. Like seeing competitive defense out of RJ after not seeing it for like ten ish games, and I'm probably underselling it because I'm, 
um, RJ Barrett fan for sure. Uh, Julius with over 70 points in the last two games. Monster. Um, after having the season he had last year and me being pretty much off the Julius Randle uh, bandwagon. And I was one of those people who was like, I like him at $69 million for three years just because I had been watching him since his sophomore year. So, like, to see it all falling into place, like, from Josh Hart to quickly to Brunson, like, man, I just want to take it in for a moment and just ground the experience before we jump out the window. Because if we beat Boston, I'm out the window. And look, make sure to subscribe to this channel. Make sure to share. We're on that road to 60K, all right? We're at 59.3 thousand subscribers. We can't, we thank all of Knicks Nation, all of the subscribers, everyone who always tunes in. We thank you first and foremost because without this, this is impossible. Make sure to subscribe, share these videos, cut them up, tell them that we got them on all audio listening platforms Apple, Spotify, Google Play, Amazon, Alexa, Stitch, you name it. We're all over the place. Share it. All right, because we need it. We're trying to get to 60K next. And of course, Tian, we're trying to get to 100K, but we're up, we're getting close to 60K. So let's get to the 60K first. Let's get to the 60K first. But thank you all for tuning in once again. Salute to all the mods. Salute to TM. Salute to JJ. Salute to all you for tuning in. Shout out to you, Chris. Awesome job today. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Chuck D, I know he's tuning in. All right. Salute, Knicks Nation. Appreciate you, Daniel. We'll catch you next time, all right? Well, when the Knicks play the Boston Celtics, we'll catch you then, all right? We out.